Scott Robertson here, Robertson Drum School. This is going out to all of the Scottish pipe band drummers who are entering the world of playing solo snare drum competitions. You've almost certainly been taught that the most important part of your performance is the attack. Today I want to talk about some of the common errors that I hear in attacks, particularly in grade 4, and why it's so important to get it right. First, we need to define what an attack is. I consider it to be everything from the count-in, through the roll-off, to the end of the first part of the march. What makes a good attack? Clean rolls with a solid tempo that's consistent with everything that follows. Here's an example. Ready? One, two. The reason that it's so important to have a good attack is that it tells the adjudicator so much about your performance within the first eight bars. They can hear the quality of your rolls and they can hear the execution of some of your rudiments. They know how well your drum is set up and how good it sounds. And they know the tempo that you're expected to maintain for the rest of the march. So what makes them go wrong? So if you roll in too quickly, either you're not going to manage the tempo that you just set, or possibly your piper will not manage the tempo that you set. Either way, it's going to get pulled back and it's going to be a little unsteady until it settles in. Conversely, you don't want this to happen either. So in both of those examples, the player rolled off first, thought about the tempo second. Make sure you have the tempo and the tune in your head before you count in. Learn to sing the first couple of bars of the tune. It makes the tempo much clearer for you and your piper. Another common error I hear is when people roll off at a tempo that is comfortable for them in the first part without considering what's coming up later in the same march. Here's an example. One, two. Okay, that's a little on the fast side, but it's being managed. But here comes the second part. One and two. So before you count your piper in, make sure you've thought about how fast you can play the hardest part in the march. That's what dictates the tempo of your roll-off. The third thing I'd like to talk about is when, as a judge, I hear somebody coming up with a very strong roll-off, but very weak after that. Here's an example. One, two. So, why is the attack so important? As the saying goes, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. Historically, a roll-off was simply a signal to a band on parade to start playing. In modern pipe band drumming, the attack sets up all expectations of the performance to follow. If you found this useful, please click the thumbs up or leave me a comment.
keep practicing.